In our very first battle of the race circuit, we have a German internal battle between Old Hockenheim and the Old Nürburgring. Old Hockenheim. With Old Hockenheim, we mean the version with the long straight through the woods with the motodrome. However, this was actually the third main layout of the track. It's seen as Old Hockenheim, and it's still sorely missed by fans. Old Hockenheim was not very technical and therefore not very popular with the drivers, but because of its high speeds, it was certainly very popular with the fans. After Monza, it was the fastest circuit on the Formula 1 calendar for many years. However, Monza was the circuit with the highest average speed. Hockenheim was the circuit with the highest top speeds, with speeds over 360 km an hour. A special aspect of Old Hockenheim was the contrast between the fast but lonely section through the woods and the jam-packed crowd filled twisty stadium section. In the 1990s, the bosses of Hockenheim feared the competition of new race circuits that opened nearby in eastern Germany. To keep the German Grand Prix, they decided to modernise the circuit and let Hermann Tilk design a new section. To build that section, they had to chop many trees down. That caused protests from environmentalists. A compromise was made. They would demolish the old high-speed loop through the woods and plant new trees on the site. The new version of Hockenheim opened in 2002, and since then the old section has been lost forever. But even 20 years later, the decision is still controversial because so many fans still miss the old high-speed track. The Old Nürburgring With the Old Nürburgring, we mainly mean the Northern Loop, better known under the German name Nordschleife. However, the original track also contained a Southern Loop named Südschleife. The long Northern Loop was intended for big events like the German Grand Prix, whilst the shorter Southern Loop was more intended for smaller events. The complete circuit had a length of 28.265 kilometers, or 17.564 miles. For the German Formula 1 Grand Prix, a combination of the Nordschleife and the start-finish loop was used. This version had a length of 22.81 kilometers, or 14.173 miles. Compared to the old Hockenheim, the old Nürburgring was very technical, with tons of corners. Some sources claim over 180 corners for the Nordschleife alone. But this is a little bit exaggerated. The real number is 104 corners, although that's plenty enough. But not only were there many corners, but there was huge elevation changes that make the track very challenging. In the 1970s, the Nürburgring became controversial because of the lack of safety. After the 1976 Grand Prix, where Niki Lauda had his horror crash in the Formula 1 Grand Prix, it was abandoned and the German Grand Prix was moved to Hockenheim. In an attempt to bring back the German Grand Prix, it had to modernise and a new circuit was designed. To create space, they demolished the start-finish loop and the northern part of the southern loop, but compared to Old Hockenheim, they saved the most iconic part of the track. The legendary Nordschleife is still in operation today for tourist rides and touring car races. However, it's no longer suitable for faster cars or motorcycle races, and it's still seen to be the most challenging racetrack in the world. So, now it's your turn. Let us know in those comments below which one of the tracks is your favourite, and tell us why. Next month the winner will battle on against another iconic racetrack. Lights out, let the battle commence. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode from Battle of the Race Circuits, and our other videos from iconic racetracks from the past, sometimes from the present too.